Stick with me and I'm going to show you how to gorilla inoculate wine cap mushrooms. So let me explain a little better what I mean by gorilla inoculation. There is a movement where people try to put, you know, wild plants back in their environments. And one of the things I remember seeing is something called a seed bomb where you can buy like um, a bunch of wildflowers put together in a ball and you would like go to a park and chuck it in and eventually some wildflowers would grow natural to that environment. And it was kind of a way to take back uh, nature a little bit, help, help nature out to get back into it. Well, you could do the same thing with uh, mushrooms. And sometimes it's called a gorilla inoculation where you run around and you put local mushrooms into you know dead stumps or logs or mulch and I got John to show me how to do it with wine cap mushrooms so let me take you to this again this was shot last year at pork fest I'm clearing out some of my older stories and I meant to get this one up earlier but now it's spring you can you can start uh, planting some uh, some wine caps into the mulch and you might get a harvest this year so let me take you to John. Move the lichen and here we go. And talk about it. So this is Stroparia. Yep. All right, and we are gonna gorilla inoculate this spot. Playground. We're gonna do it in playground. <laughs> it's probably not the best, but no, it is. It won't get trampled. Yeah, I mean we'll see. <laughs> I mean even if it gets trampled, we'll we'll do it even in a space that maybe it won't. But um, even the trampling might be okay for it. So basically, ideally, you would want fresh mulch down and ideally you would want um, con you always want contact with the soil so it has to be on bare soil and some place that gets mulched um, continuously so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig out a little bit of the mulch and um, fresh mulch is ideal as is um, more hardwood mulch rather than conifers and things like that. So pine mulch doesn't work as well? Not as well, but with Stropharia, it's, uh, it, it can really be vivacious and, and grow pretty well. So what I have in this bag, and it's only been in the plastic for a little while, generally you shouldn't put mushrooms in plastic, is I have wood chips and mulch from a place that I excavated um, other Stropharia from. And the reason why I know it's in there is because I saw the mushrooms growing out of it, but also because you can tell there are these white strands, these, uh, which is the roots of the fungi that are growing in this mulch, right? So that's like a, a really good sign. And, you know, each mushroom has these white strands, so it's good to know that you got the right mushroom. And I'm going to put this in contact with the soil in the mulch. And, uh, you know, I might do it a handful or two and in a clump is helpful. You can see it's running on this stick here. It's running all over here, that white. That's uh, what it's doing is it's, the root structure of fungi is the mycelium. And that mycelium is like the living body of the fungi. And it excretes enzymes to break down wood into simpler parts and it absorbs those nutrients. So what we're doing is we're taking that root structure, that mycelium, and we're introducing, excuse me, we're introducing it to other, another food source. So what we're gonna do now after we've done that is just cover it over, pat it down, and come back next year and see what happens. All right, so, so here's where it is. We have a whole year to wait. There you go. <laughs> right here, next year. middle of the playground. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that and you'll give it a try. Go get some wine cap mushrooms. They're actually kind of easy to grow. I hope you'll have some good luck with them. Also, if you want to learn more about mushrooms, I have an entire mushroom series popping up uh, in one of these spots here. So you can click on those and keep watching stories about mushrooms. Also, if uh, you're old hat and you want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate getting off uh, the YouTube dollar. And you can... Fund me over at Patreon for a dollar a month. You can help out, and I'd really appreciate it. So enjoy that. Keep watching my stories, and uh, have fun with your mushrooms.